what is best in life. Today we join the Sultan, Alandin, in his quest to uh, achieve a Zoroastrian restoration and become the Seoshant, the uh, savior, one of the three saviors of the Zoroastrian religion and restore Zor Zoroastrianism to the Abbasid Empire. Uh, as you can see, there's the Mazdeki heresy, Zoroastrians to the south, uh, Manicheans to the uh, east, and uh, a Sunni heartland in Arabia. The Abbasid Empire has been fracturing. So there's now the uh, Mahalabid Mahala uh, Empire uh, in Arabia. The Abbasid Empire is now a swath from Palestine and Syria. Uh, to uh, the southern Turkey and maybe the uh, not quite the Caucasus or I guess these are part of the Caucasus Mountains uh, to the Caspian Sea so we are now part a much part of a much smaller empire and Africa is uh, separate or yeah Africa and uh, the uh, Umayyads uh, way off there in Spain but nevertheless the Abbasids have been reduced to a rump uh, running from Persia uh, through uh, Iran, Iran and Iraq, Syria, and Lebanon and Palestine. And the Malabids are in Arabia and the Hashids. And there is, or actually the Abbasid area is just up here as well. So we're pretty, part of a much smaller empire ruled by the Caliph. I am the Chancellor. And in our last episode before uh, Emir Moose Jaws could even form the uh, Sultanate of Dalem, although he had all the lands, he just needed to raise a bit of extra cash. But raiders landed in Galan and or Gregan and destroyed our trading post there. And then uh, poor Moose Jaws caught cancer and passed away before he could ever become the Sultan. So he was the man who would be king and never was. So we have the Sultan, uh, his brother, uh, married his sister so that we retain the claims of the as the uh, daughter of the Sultan. And I will be trying to use assassination. Um, and I will try to join the Assassin's Society. Uh, one of these must be true. Am I allowed to, or must I be a Shia? Withdraw interest in joining the Assassins. No, I'm going to attempt to uh, become one of the Assassins and assassinate my way to my uh, wife's claims. And we established the Sultanate of Jaws out of the uh, Kingdom of Daylam, and we now have de facto uh, or de jure claims on some lands to the north on either side of the Caspian Sea. And uh, we have the business focus. I'll just start the uh, game. We have the business focus so that we're uh, trying to increase our stewardship, although that's already great value that we have stewardship and funding conquest through mercenaries is the way we're going to play the game. And here we go with the uh, stewardship quest. A group of uh, craftsmen has come to your court and shown off their work. They present you with fine goods of which you are sure there would be a demand for in the realm. Noticing your interest, the craftsmen ask for some capital to start up a workshop, saying they lack the funds to do, uh, do it on their own. So I lose 50 gold, and a workshop will be set up in Quivir. Now, these raiders uh, raided Gurgan and sacked the capital, and they also destroyed, it, destroyed the trade post. So for 47 gold pieces, I will uh, start building a trade post. I do have the uh, trade post in Tabriz as well to make up some income that I conquered two episodes ago and now two emers ago. So what other... We have special minor titles. Uh, someone is still trying to assassinate Tanaz. Dangerous faction. Increased council power in the Jaws. Oh, perhaps I shouldn't have sent, spent all that money. I still have this one... How are my leech levy, my levies are recovering uh, for my Demesne? They're only 235, and I should have a total of 1629. My lands aren't that bad, but I do have this one vassal that does not like me. And is there. Um, where's the factions? 
it always I always confuse the uh, factions in the intrigue. So what can I do with her? Iran, um, her opinion of me is negative 77. That's almost all. She's envious, but she also just hated my predecessor. She, at the moment, she has 120. Well, she only has 795. Ah, come on. Let's get this timer going. She only has 795 uh, soldiers, but I have less than that. And I am going to... Uh, I'm going to demand that she end the plot. And no, she won't accept the offer. Um, so I'm going to plot to kill her. And I'll see how that goes on the intrigue. My plots... Only 29% plot power. Oh, and I don't even have a council formed yet either. So I'll slow things down. It's a new king. Uh, get my spy master appointed. That's almost the most severely injured, uh, but likes me. There we go. And get him scheming. And uh, the Mobad of uh, Farzad, even though he's heir to the uh, Walaya of Galan. Uh, well, he likes me. We'll appoint him, and we'll get him to proselytize uh, Zoroastrian. Zoroastrian. We'll try to get Kazwin uh, converted. Or actually, can he research cultural tech? There's nowhere he can really research. Yeah, I don't see uh, that uh, option. Doesn't seem available for me. I'd rather him be researching legalism. But instead, we'll proselytize, and we'll put him in Kazwin. And then uh, the Chancellor. Uh, I have the Herbad of Komish Deepa, who's already my vassal. Do I have anyone who's really angry? Yes, this is the guy I conquered. I think I'll make him Marshal, because Marshal is a bit of a throwaway. Uh, Herbad, or the Court Physician. Uh, no, this Chancellor does actually have a Diplomacy skill of 15 versus 11, and he is my vassal, so uh, there we go. He likes me a bit. Now, I'm not sure which is the next uh, land that I wish to develop a claim on, so is there anything else? Um, perform straight statecraft. Work to improve relations with random vassals, neighbor rulers, your liege, and lower threat. Improve diplomatic relations, fabricate claims, sow dissent. Improve diplomatic. Well, uh, does there is there anyone who really hates me? Uh, defensive packs. Direct vassals. Opinions. I guess yes. I guess the Dihistan really doesn't like me, and nor does this woman I'm plotting to kill. She doesn't like me either. And where? does she live? Uh, she is reigning in Furzukuch, Tabaristan. So she is in Tabaristan. So I will send my chancellor there to try to improve dip dip diplomatic relations in Tabaristan. And I will appoint as marshal uh, the gentleman I conquered. He's 67. He might not last too long. His opinion has dropped only minus 29, and that's mainly because he uh, is a title claimant. He's envious, and but 48 of that number is his opinion of the predecessor. So I will get him to train troops, and I'll get him to do that in uh, Quivir. And now, because I believe uh, th these are leaded by temple holdings, I'm not sure how that happened, but the heads of these sheikdoms are the temple holdings. Um, Grand Vizier of the Abbasid Empire, Commander of the Arabian Empire, uh, and the castles are held by uh, my brothers and sisters that I handed them out to. So that's going to be a minor problem, or actually it's going to be a bit of a problem because I don't believe I'm going to get the levies from these uh, areas as much as I should. But nevertheless, I am going to try to uh, finance my wars on the um, back of my income and off mercenaries. 
So this is the opinion, and I still have a vassal opinion. During my stay at the court of a noble in al Karek, I have done my utmost to present my liege in a most favorable light and have him recognized as the benevolent and peaceful ruler that he is. It seems as if I have succeeded. So dangerous factions, increased council power. This woman I'm trying to take care of by assassinating. She is 100% of my men. That won't last long. My levy is growing back. But it's going to come back slowly and again three of these instead of being castles three of these holdings are uh, temples somehow the temple got made the senior holding in a sheikdom simon has written a song in my honor apparently she wants me to know that i'm the best person in the world princess of the arabian empire i can tell stories to impress her uh, she may gain idolizer. Ah, uh, yes, I will tell stories to impress her. Simon is no less impressed by me now. It seems I'm quite the idol for her now. What does idolizer give her? Learning plus one. May learn to erudite, zealous, or frail. Hopefully not frail. Seems I'm a good influence. Now let me check the minor titles. And the court tutor. Yes, is the Chinese physician. So that is helpful. Uh, most guests have departed and evening has turned into early morning, yet Captain Muhammad, uh, Mahmud and I are still deep in conversation. We are talking about religion, righteousness, how to do the right thing. Mahmud suggests that giving alms and fasting must surely bring mortals closer to the divine. Uh, those are noble actions indeed, uh, like, Mus like the Muslim infidels never. Uh, I'll agree with them. Uh, I believe actually Zoroastrianism that shares a uh, a uh, value with Islam that the actual doing of good works helps earn your way into heaven uh, unlike um, uh, some other religions where their good works do not lead your way into heaven uh, most guests have departed and evening has turned into early morning yet Captain Mahmud and I are still deep in conversation we talked about religion, righteousness how to do the right thing, he expressed admiration for those willing to give their life fighting for their beliefs, I agree Mahmud if only uh, I could be more like them. Hmm, I hope I'm not converting. Um, we are quiet for a moment, both seeming contemplating these devoted souls. The Mahmud looks, at, looks up at me, a curious intensity in his gaze. That is not an impossible wish, Alandon. Are you ready to kill, and if he wills it, get killed, to defend the words of his prophet and the rightful heir? I am Mahmud, and you say there is a way? So ask Captain Mahmud what you can do to serve a greater cause. I do, Alandon, says Captain Mahmud with a solemn, almost ceremonial, vo ceremonial voice. There is an order devoted to Allah and the rightful Caliph, one that defends those true of faith and bring vengeance to their persecutors. The assassins are always in need of champions. Think it over and someone might reach out. Me, an assassin? Perhaps this is my destiny. So... Uh, I can appoint some commanders. News from China, Emperor Lao Dejong, known for his open policy, has died. And Lai Zongzong, Zuan, Zuanzong, now sits upon the dragon throne. It is said that he especially appreciates Balto Slavic cultures, but despises African cultures. Unlike his predecessor, the new emperor is known to favor the idea of an expansion of expansionist China. I believe I'm far enough away from China that this is a Western protectorate. I should be fine. My eyes open, seeing only darkness. For a moment, my mind is blank. Before the first thoughts get through the haze of sleep, why did I wake up? A deep man's voice cuts through the silence, startling me. The time has come for you to profess your devoutness to Allah and the rightful man, Ali. Uh-oh. Oh, I can't convert to Shia. I will carry out Allah's wishes in secret, no matter what the risk. Secretly convert to Shia Islam. Oh no. Am I going to die from this? Do I have an heir already? In my family? No, I don't. And I don't want him to become... I can designate my heir as a Zoroastrian and have him brought, brought up in the Zoroastrian heritage. Uh, I will secretly start to profess the uh, Shia religion. 
Excellent. I turn my head towards the door. A hooded figure steps out of the shadows by the door, and a hand appears from underneath a cloak, holding out a piece of parchment. Before we continue, you must sign this, a written pledge of allegiance to the Grand Master of Assassins, a routine safety measure. Uh, of course, let me sign this, otherwise I think I'll be killed. As soon as I lift the tip of the quill from the parchment, the hooded man snatches it from the desk. The Grand Master will be pleased, Sultan Alandon. You will receive an invitation to our stronghold, but for now, go back to bed. You will need the rest, and the next moment, he is gone. So I hope I can still raise my son as as uh, found a religious cult. Join the party of Ali cult. Offer to help with liege titles. Lose 62 gold. I'm going to invite a holy man to court and see what sort of holy man I get. Hafez Hafez arrives. And he is, yes, good. He's still a Zoroastrian with the learning of 13. Now we'll try to marry him. Uh, how old is he? 35? She's dull. There we go. Excellent. Now, I need to... I'm invited to the Assassin's Stronghold. Arrive at the settlement in a fortnight's time. One of our people will collect you there. Until then, keep safe and breathe not a word of this meeting to any living soul. Praise be to Allah. And it doesn't actually tell me where. To the magnificent Sultan, the land and peace be with you. I accept your suggestion that Hafez and Mariam get married. Now, I need to take some concubines to get... Uh, some children rolling. My wife. Uh, can I send her a gift? 15 will increase it by 68. Great. So my wife is now pleased with me. So hopefully we'll have some children. The journey to the to blank was comfortable. However, the dwindling mountain path to the assassin stronghold was a torment to tread. As I finally arrive at the castle, my guide brings me to the main tower where I am introduced to propagandist Mahmud. I am ready to serve propagandist. There's no time for pleasantries, not even a moment to catch my breath before propagandist Mahmud leads me through another door down a spiraling stone staircase. We descend in silence. The stair ends and the propagandist opens another door, revealing a gloomy basement room and a figure kneeling on the floor. I just don't want to get killed. This, propagandist Mahmud says solemnly as I enter, is your test. With these words, he pulls the hood from the woman's head. It is your Queen Mother, Asli, my... It is Queen Mother Asli, my mother. The shock... Is this Asli? Queen Mother Asli. The shock in her eyes must be mirroring my own. This woman is an enemy of our faith. End her. The propagandist offers me a dagger. How old is she? She's 54. If it is the Grand Master's wish, because of my diplomacy skill, I beg of you, let us go. I can pray. Well, that's 131 gold I really need. Ah, oh, Queen Mother Asley, you've served your purpose. You can have no longer, no more children. I did decide to become an assassin. The blood is still gushing from the infidel's limp body as I kneel in front of the propagandist. He recites the oath of the assassins, and I repeat after him. As propagandist Mahmud speaks the final words inducting me into the order, he smears the blood across my cheeks. Stand up, adherent Alandon, and welcome to the assassins. My life for Allah, praise be to the assassins. Well, there we go. I just had to kill my mother. And what abilities do I agree with? Do you borrow money from the... Uh... Young Kamara has finished her education and stewardship, I notice with pride. She has obtained nothing left than a masterful level of knowledge. And this is... So we have... She is... Oh, she's a Sunai, but we can marry her to a Zoroastrian. And she's in jail? 
She's imprisoned by me. I'm not sure why. She's ambitious. She's craven. Um, I really should see if I can start to find a suitable concubine. Gender, woman, married, no, diplomatic range, yes. Uh, any religion, any culture. We'll start off with my religion group because they tend to be willing to uh, uh, willing to be uh, concubines. The peasants in Gouvir spend a long time on the road in order to meet with the Herbads, or so your court, a man for Zad claims. He suggests it would be in your interest to construct local shrines in the way the peasants would not have to travel so far in order to worship. Less traveling means war more work being done. Lose 25.1 gold, and that would gain me 25 piety and local shrines till 809. Uh, plus 0.25 monthly piety, the prosperity of Quivir increases. It's piety, but okay, I don't really need piety. Alright, so there are no geniuses of my religion. Quick, there's a 26-year-old lustful woman. Will she be my concubine? No, but I'll invite her to court, and then she will be. And then there is an attractive attractive quick woman come on and you won't come to court unfortunately I suggest your and will come to court so Naz has come to court and now I will take her as a concubine thank you very much a Kurdish concubine um, quick now let's see strong attractive, a 17-year-old and an 18-year-old, and ambitious, child of concubine. Oh, uh, oh, this is Yedlem. And neither of them, even though, I guess, oh, they're Manicheans, and Manicheans won't accept concubinage. Uh, and I can't invite her to court where I could just force her to be my concubine. I would really love to get that attractive and quick concubine uh, settled, but okay. So attractive, so let's try strong. No strong. Strong, attractive, quick. All right, so my religion group. Now, um, any religion. Are there any geniuses that would be willing to accept me? Circe. Um, none of the right age. So are any of these religions that accept concubines? And this is the same woman yet again. And this is old Slavic, but she's 53. Here's a 17-year-old, but she's orthodox. I don't think an orthodox will become my concubine. No, and they won't accept travel to my court. Uh, Princess of Byzantium. Arrange betrothal. Can I arrange with... I don't have any relatives needing betrothal, unfortunately. 21-year-old. Uh, uh, I'm a royal. Come on, don't you want to be the queen's... the concubine of the king? And the Sinais won't go for it. Uh, she's too young. She's too old. She's ten. That's barely too young. Um. Well, it looks like I've uh, set up my court and arranged my council. And I am trying to dispose of the one vassal that hates me, but it looks like I've managed to raise enough cash that I can fend her off anyway. And do I have a trade post? Yes, I've established a trade post at Gurgan. And let's have a look at it. Silk Road trade post, trade value plus 30, trade route wealth plus one, 96. So we'll build the trade post. and get that income and I don't understand how I can switch 
Gregan is still looted and is going to be looted until when? Although it's still building up a levy, a 209 or 470. Uh, how long is this going to be looted for? Does it give a mention? No, it doesn't. And the city of Gobad is looted as well. And its levy is not being built up. Although, you know it is. There's some levies being built uh, or reestablished. So, my levies are up to 745. A daughter was born to Farzad and Parvin, my niece. Oh, so she's a Jazz. Okay, Bar. So, we'll give her uh, humility, timid or affectionate, or thrift. We'll try to make her conscientious. And... The Khan of Serbia. <laughs> That's a bit too far away to actually help me. Oh, I forgot my niece. Our enemies are growing bolder. They spread their vile heresies, poisoning the minds of people. This cannot continue. Chief Abdullah of Daria is one of the worst defenders adherent. Turn him into an example to fill our enemies' hearts with dread, signed Grandmaster Ibrahim. Except Alandin of the Jaws shot him, except the mission assassinate Chief Abdullah, targeting Chief Abdullah of Daria. To complete the mission, the Sultan Alandin must successfully complete a murder plot against his target, Chief Abdullah. To initiate the plot, select the diplomatic action plot to kill by right-clicking on the portrait of Chief Abdullah. There we go. Is this going to set aside my own plot to kill? I can only have one plot active at a time, so I'll have to wait. Uh, news from China, uh, is Emperor Li Zhaozong, known for his expansion policy, has died, and Li Haozong now sits upon the Dragon Throne. It is said that he especially appreciates wealth, but despises Baltic Slavo, Balto Slavic cultures. Unlike his predecessor, the new emperor is known to favor the idea of, open, of an open China. And I have 10 grace, can I pay ter I can only go cow tow to him, and I don't have time. And the cog cognate of the Uyghur, and the cognate of the uh, Mulched. So what other wrong type of holding in Demesne? Uh, I know, but I don't know how to switch them over, unfortunately. Uh, Galan, Kazwin, and Tabriz. I hold all three, and I don't want to give them up um, because of their valuable trading posts and so on. And I have a trading post being built, rebuilt in Gurgan. So it is time to pick a target and go to war with the Satrap. Force vassalization. All right, well, it looks like uh do i want a de jure claim or a force vassalization oh he's a sunai he's a sunai no i want a de jure claim and i'll replace him with the zoroastrianism uh, so that looks like that will be our next step will be to take care of the satrap next episode and uh, replace him with a good Zoroastrianism. I have become an assassin and hopefully will survive that career move. If this is your first video, please consider hitting the subscribe button and the bell so that you receive notifications of my other videos. I hope you have a good day and uh, thanks for watching my video.